Hello, welcome to the second in a little series of videos looking at the impact, the effect of indirect taxes. We're focusing on consumer and producer welfare. So in the second video, we're going to be asking this question. What is the impact of an indirect tax on producer surplus? Quick reminder, an indirect tax is a tax on spending, nearly always a tax on the supplier, which adds to their costs. And the tax per unit is shown by the vertical distance between the pre and the post tax supply curves. Now, because of the tax, that means the supplier can't supply as much to the market at each price level. If we put a tax on sugar, high sugar drinks, for example, or high fat foods, or we, we tax carbon emissions, that is adding to the costs of producers. And that means that the supply will fall at a given price level. What is producer surplus? Producer surplus is a measure of welfare. It is the difference between the price that producers are willing and able to supply a product for and the price they actually get in the market, the price they receive from consumers. And producer surplus is a key measure of economic welfare for suppliers to a particular market or industry. So this video is going to be an analysis video and it's designed to take you through step by step the impact of an indirect tax on producer surplus. Crucially, a uh, really important point is we're looking uh, to build slightly stronger analysis to use, make our diagrams work for us so we can get better marks, top marks in assignments ahead of exams, for example. Here's a, we're going to use labels on this one. So this is the initial market. And this is the price and output before before the indirect tax is imposed. So initially, the market is in equilibrium at point E, output Q1 and price D. So if we just go back, that was take a step back here. So that's the market um, before the tax. The price was D at equilibrium E and output Q1. And that's basically the free market price and output. And then we impose the tax on the market. Now, crucially, the consumer will then pay a higher price because the supplier is able to pass on quite a bit of the tax to the consumer. So after the tax, there's a new equilibrium at point C and the price goes up from D to B. So the consumer pays this price, price B, after the tax. But that's not the price the producer keeps because, of course, you see there's a tax to pay. The tax per unit can you see that is the vertical distance between the two supply curves? So we have to take off the tax to show the price the producer gets. Can you work out what that's going to be? It's going to be price I. So BI is that vertical distance is the tax per unit. The consumer pays B. The producer keeps price I after the tax. Well, you can see that as a result of the tax, quantity bought and sold has gone down to Q2 uh, and the producer is getting less per unit. That's clearly going to have an effect on producer surplus. And if you bring producer surplus into your answers, question on indirect taxes, you are going to get a better mark for analysis. So hopefully this step by step thing will help you. If you have a series of questions, do press that pause button on the video if you want to have a go uh, as we work our way through this little problem. So what is the producer surplus before the tax? Well, it's the area above the supply curve and below the price. The price originally was D, quantity Q1, and the area is D, E, G, the area above the supply curve and below the price that people are paying. By the way, G, on the left-hand side there, is the minimum price the producer receives, is, needs to get to supply to the market. So initially, before the tax, producer surplus is area D, E, G. Next question for you. What is producer surplus after the tax? After the tax. What do you think? Well, there's some confusion in class when I did this. People thought that the producer got B and it was B, C, H, G. But of course, no. The producer only keeps price I after the tax. So producer surplus is area I, H, G, I, H, G. Smaller quantity Q2, they get the price I. There's a smaller area of producer surplus. So the loss of producer surplus due to the tax 
have a go at this one, please. Which area is that? And the answer is trapezium, a trapezium, D, E, H, I. D E H I. So there's been a loss. Producers suffer as a result of the tax. They've passed on the tax to the consumer, most of it. But after the tax has been paid, they actually get less per unit. So less incentive to supply. Uh, as a result, there's a loss of producer surplus equal to the area D E H I. By the way, in exams, in assignments, if you're taking assignments ahead of exams, for example, it's probably best to label points rather than shade it's much neater it looks cleaner and shading often doesn't doesn't look great when the, when you scan exam papers so strong advice label rather than shade what's the deadweight loss well the deadweight loss if you were remember our previous video on consumer surplus the deadweight loss is the loss of producer surplus that doesn't just go to the government in tax d f h i was producer surplus but that now goes to the government in tax can you see that so what's the deadweight loss have a go the answer is f e h indirect taxes can lead to a deadweight loss of consumer and producer surplus of course crucial point how is the tax revenue used and at almost a prior point why was the tax introduced in the first place is it introduced just to increase the revenue to the government or is it introduced because of, for example, negative externalities, in which case you'd have a market failure diagram to draw there. OK, so there we go. Uh, hopefully that explains things. Whoops, <laughs> I was going backwards in my video there. Just time to mention the self-paced on-demand student courses. Uh, I'll post a link in the comment section of the video. I think it's a great way of, of uh, working working up to your grade potential and above hopefully by improving your exam technique and your key subject knowledge and tutor 2 also has a tremendous range of printed resources study companions calculation practice books knowledge books diagram practice books flashcards uh, practice essays sample essays and things so please do have a look at our printed workbooks and again i'll post a link in the comments section if you're working remotely in 2021 ahead of important assignments and tests these could be perfect for you. So there we go. Thank you for joining in this video on the impact of an indirect tax on producer surplus.